Hi everyone, it's Laura Binding here and today I'm going to be showing you how to make this wire woven pendant just here. I'm going to be showing you how to use um, some wire, take a focal gemstone and embellish it with some smaller micro faceted gemstones. So let's see what we need to get started with this project. Okay, so the materials that we're going to be using for this project are some silver plated copper wire. So I've got the gauge 0.8 and 0.4. I'm using 8mm size K2 Jasper round gemstones and these are about a size 8mm as well. And then I'm going to be using this microfaceted sodalite gemstone just here to add the additional detail to the design. So the tools that we're going to be using today are really very simple. We're going to be using the chain nose pliers here, round nose pliers, flush cutters, and these are optional but I find them quite essential. These are bail making pliers. So I've cut two lengths of wire, they're about just under a metre each. I just want a length long enough for me to be able to create a nice fluid design and I'd rather have too much wire than not enough. I'm going to do quite a lot of swirling with this, so that is obviously going to reduce the length of those wires. So I'm going to go ahead and find the middle of my wire, so just bringing two ends together. I'm just going to find roughly that centre point, it doesn't have to be precise. I'm then going to go ahead and take my bail making pliers and I'm going to use the smaller side of the prongs. Place those two wires in together and I'm just going to bring them around. Now you can go around once or you can go around again if you wanted to. It just means um, that you'll have four loops or two loops as part of your bail. I'm just going to fold them around once. So what I've done is literally brought the wires to meet and then I'm going to twist. So I'm twisting the two pairs of wires together and I've just twisted them twice. Remove the pliers and this is what you're going to get. Don't worry about that twist, that will be disguised as you work. It's just you do need that because you'll be bringing your wire back up and around. So you need to have that gap to actually be able to build the design. Okay, so I'm ready to start actually building this design now. So what I want to do is I'm going to treat each pair of wires as if they were one. So I'm right-handed, so I just tend to naturally start on the right. It's up to you, there's no wrong or right. So I'm going to take these wires here and I'm just going to, just see how I'm using my hand to kind of control this. So I'm using my left hand almost as a base to push the wire against and then my right just to create those swirls. I'm just bringing that all the way around. You can see that there. And I've got that sitting how I want that to go. Then what I'm going to do is separate those wires, bring the inside wire up towards that twist. And this is where I'm going to place my gemstone. So I've gone ahead and taken one of the jaspers, and just feeding that onto that wire. So you can see. I want that to sit sort of central like that. So what I want to do now is bring the other wire up and connect them back together. Don't mind that there's a gap there, that's fine. But I want these two to become a pair again. So what I'm doing now is I'm just going to do a swirl again. Just a small one, just to start to bring that together. Now this is where this twist starts to come into play because I can now bring those wires around that twist and lock them just up there. So you can see they've just been locked there and then that brings these wires back here to then come down and do something else with it if I want. But what I want to be careful of is working too much with one side and then having long wires on this side and not being able to balance it out. So what I tend to do is do one rotation with one side then move over to the other. So I've done that so now I'm going to start doing a little bit of work with this set of wires. Now you don't always have to swirl and please remember that you don't have to do every move that I'm doing in this demonstration. This is just to show you how you could build something like this. Um, your wires may go differently, um, you may go in a different direction, you may do different size swirls. The, every single one will be individual. 
So I'm taking the ends of these two wires. What I'm going to do is just bring them up into one of these gaps, really. And you can see how I'm just letting it create its own shape. I'm just encouraging that wire to kind of go round. Bringing it all the way around and just letting that shape form. And what that's done is because I placed it into that gap, it's locked it because you don't want any loops that are going to be up and catching. So again, I'm just going to bring this all the way around. You can go over or under these wires, it's up to you, just however you feel it works. I'm just lifting them up. And again, I'm then going to come around that twist we initially made, and I'm back here. So you can see why I wanted that twist in the first place. Now, don't worry about it looking a little bit bulky, because I'm going to show you how we can cover that. Now, what I want to do is just start to work on how we can start to get this design looking a little bit more fluid. So, what I want to do is, I'm going to switch back to the first set of wires we were working with. And what I don't want is to just pull these wires down because you'll see that. So again, I'm going to just hold in this, I'm going to create a little bit of a swirl. And can you see how straight away that's distracted? Now, what's happening is becoming a little bit heavy on this side and bare on this side. So I can bring it around. There's nothing to say that I don't go like this and bring it across here. And then maybe just do a little swirl there. You see it's starting to build its shape now. What I don't want to do is get too carried away because in a moment I'm going to start adding the sodalite gemstones to give that additional detail. And we can still work with these and build that design up at the same time. So I'm bringing that around here. I'm going to just make it a little bit more balanced. So I'm just going to bring this around to here. And I'm going to just, I think, I'm going to just fold these here and lock them into place. Folding both those wires down and pushing them so they go where I want them to go. Now this is all moving and that's fine. But make a note of it so that we know we can come back and fix that. So my loop just went behind. I'm just repositioning it now. And I'm just going to place these wires how I want them. So I'm just using my chain nose pliers just to get everything as I want it to, as I want, where I want it to be. What I'm going to do is also kind of go over and flatten a few things and that helps me get an idea of where those wires are trying to go. So I'm only gently sort of flattening it down. Okay, so I think that that's locked. I think I'm quite happy now. So what I'm going to do is start to add my detail of sodalite. So I've got these wires here and here, and I'm actually going to start off by adding my wire onto one of these. Okay, so I've got my wire here. I've just cut a workable length of 0.4 wire off. I'm just going to place it into this gap and attach it. So I'm just wrapping about three times around both these wires. You can see I've got a little tail wire just there, just so that I can hold everything and it's not going to run. Now what I want to do is load some sodalite gemstones onto my point 0.4. I've loaded a couple onto the wire. I don't want to put too many on because I'm just going to add a little sections at a time. What I'm going to be doing is dropping it down onto the wire so they sit just on top of those two wires. Then obviously keeping hold of the other so they don't go anywhere, just wrapping it around and then just dropping another one on. So hopefully you can see, wrapping that around, dropping another one on. Try to keep them quite close to each other because you don't want them to separate too much. Otherwise the wire will look messy and it will look sort of baggy almost. So sitting that on there, wrapping that around, and then one more. And then I scoot them up together and you can see they're going to sit like that. I'm just going to do a couple more because I'm going to want this to kind of start to frame and you can see already how that's changing the look of the design. You can see I've gone on and added a few more. Now one thing I'll say is that you will need to keep checking um, where you're going to want these wires to go, where you're going to want that placement to be so that you don't wrap too many on. So I might have wanted to have gone all the way around here in which case I would have wanted more actually oh i quite like it like that you know place those wires see how you want them to go as long as you're gentle with them you'll be able to manipulate them a little bit 
So I'm actually looking at this to kind of come and sort of, I'm probably going to bring these wires just again lock in this, this piece into place just into here and just bringing that down so that's locked now as you can see and then I can bring these wires back to the front now to do that what I'm going to do is sort of bring them and lock them in with a swirl now it's starting to build that design up and then what I'm going to do is trim this 0.4 wire here because I'm happy with the way that's looking and just snip that nice and close to that wire take your chain nose pliers and just really make sure that that wire is nice and close to the frame check it with your fingers now remember we had that wire that we started with sometimes I like to leave that there just in case I want to add an additional detail and I could use that to do so but sometimes it's easier just to get rid of it otherwise you could forget and end up with a sharp wire exposed so I'm now going to go ahead and add some more uh, soda light onto these two wires here in the exact same way I just did you can see here I've gone on and added some more so this is where I'm going to just have a little look how I want that to be placed do you quite like it looking like that so I think I probably just add a few more and then I'll be able to bring that wire up and behind the loop here so I'm ready now to just place this wire just around here and it's going to hook around the back just there and you can see just having that little added detail just really changes the way that this pendant looks so remembering again to get rid of these tail wires and all you're going to do is just continue with this for as much detail as you want as you can see here I've done quite a few layers on this one it's a little bit more plainer but I still haven't finished this one yet so you know you can stop at any point and you can see how different they all look as well so let's just add a few more on and see what happens so I've just added some onto here and brought that around and down here I just wanted to show you how we could then bring these back up if I wanted to uh, back towards the front and add more on there so I'm just going to turn the piece around and push those wires through they're then back where I want them to go and then I could add some more and bring that back up to here so I just wanted to show you how each stage you just decide what you're going to do everyone's going to be different so you know don't be afraid to go and bring that wire back towards the front if that's where you want it to go these wires here I don't feel really have a place on this side so there's absolutely no reason as long as I kind of hide the wire so effectively it doesn't suddenly just shoot across the front I could bring this into this design so I could bring this here and feed it up through the front so you know just have a little play and see what evolves okay so I've gone ahead and I've continued to um, add some extra layers as you can see here and what I really want is to keep that mix of swirls and of the layers so I didn't want it to just be all these layers what I did have that mixture of color textures so I really like the way that the um, silver shows through but that's people's preference you don't have to do any of that you can just add the gemstone straight on um, so that's it from the back as you can see it's got like a nice base it feels really solid because of the way that it's been created and what we need to do now is just clear up all of these wires so I'm just going to make sure I've got rid of all my 0.4 and then I've still got two more of these. Now, again, I could if I wanted to have brought more wires down. Um, I'm really quite happy with how this is. I might just bring that just to do a little decorative swirl here. Just to sort of give that a bit more fluidity. But the lovely thing about this is if you don't like it, it's easy enough to get rid of. I think I'm going to keep that. I'm just going to bring that around the back then and lock that so just trim just lock that into the bale and this one here is in a perfect place to just get rid so you can either just trim it and tuck it at the back which i think is what i will probably do so i'm just cutting that wire and i'm just going to tuck that wire in making sure that it's not going to catch or lift and that's nice and smooth so that's it from the back 
that's it from the front and obviously this is in the wrong direction um now you can change this or you can leave it like this so again i'll go back to my original one i actually had less wire at the top of my original one so i was able to um, stitch a couple of the little soda lights just going up and have that in a different direction on this one it's turned out slightly different this will happen i actually quite like it like this and would be tempted to just personally for me i would want to just add a jump ring onto that to attach it to the chain or however you intend to hang this pendant but you could come in and you could carefully turn these two around just be careful of the work that you've done around that and just separate them out and i'll be honest i probably if i had decided to do that initially i probably would have done that at an earlier stage um i wanted to see how it would turn out but it's easy enough to do just open them out and you can see you have that just there so it's easy enough to change there you have your finished pendant. Um, I hope you like this project and I look forward to seeing your makes.